join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. We're entering the Ormo Park today via its main and grand Victorian entrance on the Ormo Road just beside the Ormo Bridge. Sandwiched between the River Laggins Ormo Embankment and the Ravenhill Road, this 100 acre site is one of South Belfast's large green spaces. The other main one being the Botanic Gardens just down the road that I covered in another Naked Ireland film. Like most parks, it's very popular with joggers as you can see. The park was originally part of the Donegal family estate. They set up home here in 1807 in the Ormo cottage and after accumulating family debts the family were forced to sell the estate to the Belfast Corporation in 1869. The space was thus opened to the general hoi polloi, that's us by the way, the public, shortly afterwards in 1871. So it's the oldest of the city's municipal parks. How the park came to be laid out is interesting. The public were encouraged to submit their ideas for the site and a 24 year old architect called Timothy Heavey was chosen. The park today still largely reflects young Timothy's designs. It plays host to a 5k park run every Saturday at 9.30am and a 2k junior park run on Sundays at the same hour. So the purpose of the park, as you might expect, is as an open space for the surrounding residents, but the park is also used for large events as well. There are a number of little commemorations in the park, on benches as here, and on trees as we'll see in a minute, that remember loved ones who have passed. I'm guessing these people will have had a particular association with or a love of the park. I'm thinking that if you're a nature lover, what better way to be remembered than in a beautiful park like this? Now it's impossible to discuss Belfast, unfortunately, without bringing religion and politics into it, and Ormo Park isn't immune from this. It was for many years, for example, used as the venue for the 12th, for those of you viewing from outside Ireland and perhaps unfamiliar with our politics, the 12th of July is the day when Loyalists celebrate the victory of King William of Orange over the Catholic King James. The park's position on the opposite side of the lagging of the city centre places it in Upper Ormo, which historically speaking was the Protestant part of the road, the Catholic Lower Ormo being on the other side of the river. These days though that distinction has largely gone. Lower Ormo is still mostly Catholic though with a sizeable immigrant population. While across the river these days is a very mixed area, Belfast's new young middle class has made it a very up and coming district in recent years. And again, there are people settling there from many parts of the world. Here's another one of those memorials we saw earlier. Just returning to the park's political history for a moment, it's worth mentioning one particular and distinctive mass meeting that was held here in March of 1972 by the Vanguard Movement, a new political party led by Unionist leader William Craig. Craig controversially announced, We must build the dossiers on the men and women who are a menace to this country, because one day, ladies and gentlemen, if the politicians fail, it may be our job to liquidate the enemy. 
In fact, it's very hard to imagine a public speaker saying something as radical as that today, even in Northern Ireland's crazy political environment. Especially to such a large crowd, 100,000 people attended this rally. Thankfully, times have changed. Nowadays, the park is more readily associated with eco-trails, orienteering routes, a children's playground, and it offers a great mix of horticulture, woodland, flower displays, and wildlife. It also contains playing fields, bowling greens with pavilions, a BMX track, as well as basketball, tennis, and netball courts, which we'll see in a minute. And here we run into a group of people taking great pleasure in feeding something, I presume. I can't actually see any animal here. Uh, perhaps they're just putting down bread for the birds. You can see how animated the park is, even on a wet autumn day like this. As you see, we've had heavy rain and the water's lying deep in the paths. But it's obviously great to get out for a walk, even when the weather's not perfect. And of course, this is the purpose of the Ormo Park. And this is what it provides for the residents of the Ormo Road and the surrounding area. What many people may not be aware of is that the park has won a green flag every year between 2011 and 2022, which is an award commending the best open spaces in the UK. Also, it's great to know that if you've mobility issues, then this park may still be for you as mobility scooters can be accessed. These are free to shop mobility members and you can collect them at the tennis centre. Presumably booking in advance is essential for that. We've still a little bit to go yet, but I hope you've enjoyed this walk through the park. If you did, please take the time now to give the film a like, and of course feel free to comment on your own experience of the park. If you've ever visited it, let us know what you think. Now I see a bell in the undergrowth there. I'm guessing that's for the caretakers to ring to signal the park's closure each evening. By the way, speaking of ringing bells, you could ring my bell, so to speak, and hit the subscribe button. Over 80% of people who watch Naked Ireland videos do so without subscribing, which of course is fine. But now might be the time to help the channel out by subscribing. It just means that you're more likely to see my videos on YouTube searches, and it helps me build the channel, so please consider that. If, however, you're feeling massively benevolent, then buy me a pint. Yes, you heard correctly, there's a facility for that. Check out the description below to see how you can do that. Obviously, these little bits of support help me continue to create new and interesting Naked Ireland content for you. And what a lovely place to go for a nice walk with your dog. Here just on the right hand side, you can see the tennis courts that I mentioned earlier. And if you happen to be here with your kids, the beautiful parkland is one thing, but they'll want the swings, the slides and the roundabouts of the playground. So we can just see the exit to the park up ahead of us now. We've walked right through, so don't let it be said that Naked Ireland doesn't keep you fit. I do the walking so that you don't have to. I think you'll agree that the Ormo Park is really one of Belfast's beautiful spaces. And on that note, I'll bid you farewell for now, and I'll see you all, fully subscribed perhaps, in the next Naked Ireland video.